Hi, everybody. Oh, cool. Um, okay. Just self-disclosure. I, I've never considered myself an artist ever. I'm, I'm the person who was supposed to become an accountant, not an artist. But if I were to consider myself an artist of something, it would be cocksucking. It's, it's not that I feel like I'm good at cocksucking. I mean, it's not like that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is I, I try and get to the truth. You know, like I ask the big questions, like, do you use lube when you masturbate? No. Do you do you grip yourself real tight? Are you like real smooth with it? You go right down to the base, or do you just like hang out at the head? You know, like I ask those. You know, like, it's important. It's really important. Ideally, if I can really like, if I really want to climb that mountain and like, get up there, I want to create an experience because every person is a snowflake. <laughs> and ideally, I want to somehow create and understand and be able to absorb every little sound they make and ask the probing questions and be able to create the blowjob that they wish they could give themselves. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, that's what it's about. So, I mean, that's my art, and, and the thing that I love doing with my art, because I talk about sex quite a lot, is I love to share it and teach other people how to do the art as well. Um, I love teaching blowjob classes. I mean, I teach other things, anal and, you know, BDSM and different things, you know, and I mean, there's a lot of sex stuff going on, but there's something really special about blowjob classes for me. And especially in the LA area, if you put on a blowjob class, you get Woodstock. <laughs> Everyone shows up. Everyone. Even your mom. Everyone. Okay? So, this being my art form, and me being kind of a scatterbrained kind of person. This is what I do 10 minutes before I get up to teach. I sit in the back office of wherever I am, and I do my makeup hastily, and I'm stressed out, and I'm printing out my outline, and I'm trying to figure out if that new move I figured out, if I want to call it the hurricane or the funnel of love. And this is really stressing me out. And then I, I, I didn't line the other eye, and I got to line the eye, but then I also have to print out the outline. And nine minutes now, nine minutes out now. And just before Valentine's Day this year, I was doing just that. And really, I think I'm going to go with Funnel of Love. Um, but the burly, burly, wonderful big bear of a guy uh, that was our manager at that time, Diego, comes to the back. And he says, Sandra, um, I have something kind of intense to tell you, but I really don't want to bum you out. You know, and I'm like, oh, fuck, you know what? This is... This is my jam! Like, this is my class. You can tell me anything! You can tell me anything! And I will, I kick ass! This is, this is where I'm at, you know? And so I'm just like, dude, seriously, it's cool. It's cool, what? And he says, um, okay, um, someone called just now and threatened to come in with an AK-47 and shoot everyone. <sighs> <laughs> I was not prepared for that. <laughs> like, I thought maybe they were towing cars for some reason, or maybe a, a light bulb had gone out, or, I, you know, what, what? I mean, joy to the world, it's a blowjob class, everybody's happy, everything's fine. I did not, I didn't expect that. So, back up, a year and a half ago, I started a podcast called Sex and Sandra, and I've been teaching a couple years, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And uh, since we're talking about the secret life, when you're a sex educator, when you're a person who goes up on stage and talks to people about, you know, safe space, we're all sexual beings, like, woo you, yay, feel better about yourself, like, do some shame. The thing that you keep secret is not the really kinky stuff. That's the stuff I'm always talking about, like, woo, I, act I randomly accidentally fisted someone the other day. Ah, ah, look at me, I'm on stage. The thing, <laughs> the thing that you keep secret is, is the dark stuff, is the stress. Every single episode of my podcast, I know the stress and the pain or the fear or the nervous breakdown I had earlier that morning or the heartbreak I was going through. And that's the stuff that you don't let on. Because it's not about me, it's about you. It's about the listener, it's about the student, it's about sharing 
those lessons with others. So I am uh, balls deep in some eyeshadow action, and I am suddenly faced with my own mortality. And I ask myself, oh my god, am I willing to die for my art? <laughs> You know, and a few things, you know, go through my head. I mean, one, I have friends coming. I want them to be able to take, make that choice. Do they want to show up? Because most likely, it's an adult, <coughs> I get prank calls all the time. It's most likely a prank. The cops have been called. I'm told that there will be a cop at the door. Cool, awesome, sweet, yay. Ugh, stop feeling like I'm gonna die! <laughs> uh, so, uh, I do, I do what I'm gonna do. I know the cops are gonna be there. Everything should be fine. 99% chance no one's going to die tonight. So I, thank you. Um, so I moved. I know that the exit closest to where I'm teaching, there are two doors. So I make sure everything is unlocked. I move the doggy bed out of the office. So I have a clear run. I know that people will follow me if someone starts shooting. So I'm like, okay, I got that. I've checked on my friend. Um, oh, I do like a goodbye Facebook message that no one knows is a goodbye. Like, hey, just having a moment. Love you guys. <laughs> no one knows that I might be on the like 11 o'clock news, you know? So I get out to teach, like, and I just, I'm like, ah, and of course I open the door up, you know, and it's like that moment in a movie where it's just lights are in your face, and it's just, it really is, like, everyone sitting, and then just, like, five deep of people standing. Like, I'm so short, I can't even see the cop. I find out later, there's not one cop, there's eight cops. Yeah, this is serious. Um, and I proceed to teach. And it is so hard to teach when you're afraid you're gonna die! <laughs> So first we talk about, you know, this is a safe space, welcome, <laughs> like, feel free to ask questions, respect each other on the street, don't out each other, that sort of thing. And I'm thinking, oh my god, if someone starts shooting, you guys near the door are going to die first. So I have a chance to run. And then I realize I'm a terrible person! I'm the worst person ever!